Welcome back. This is the final video in my series of how to make a envelope mini using the uh, chipboard spine. The hidden hinge system is what Kathy Orta calls it, and it is hers. I'm not trying to take credit for her all of her hard work in figuring it out. I just wanted to share with you how I have put the two together. So, I've already made my chipboard cover. Um, if you're following along and using the same size envelopes, you're going to want to use um, two pieces of chipboard, five and one eighth by six and three quarters, and then one piece at six and three quarters by two and a half. And I've covered it. The front and the back have the same pattern, and then the spine is a separate pattern. So you want to get your um, this ready before you attach. You want to cover the front before you attach your hinge because the paper needs to be behind the hinge, or else it'll be harder to cover it later. So what you need to do is the back is um, has all the, the different channels. There's uh, four and then there's the two flaps that you use to help attach the book to your cover. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some score tape and like I said you can use any um, I wouldn't recommend ATG or wet glue but I would use red line or um, score tape. Something really strong I don't think the ATG is as strong as you will need it to be. So what you want to do is put one strip on each channel. And then one just on the other side of that score line just to give it a little bit of extra staying power and then one and then the perimeter of the flaps so the and then maybe even one piece down the center it's always better to do too much than not enough that's what I think um, actually that probably doesn't even need to be there if I'm going to put one down the center um, because how horrible would that be for you to do all that work and then have it start to come off the back of your book or come apart from your album. So I'm going to take off all this tape. Sometimes it just doesn't want to come off. So you try the other end and that usually works. You should see the floor in my craft room once I finish making one of these books. There's so much tape backing and paper scraps. It's just really kind of embarrassing <laughs> but I generally don't like to clean up until I'm all finished with the craft so you want to make sure that you have your front and your back where you I mean in case you're using different color different pieces of paper for your front and back then you need to make sure you put the front on the left side and then the back on the right and have your pockets I started covering my pages to show you an example um, but you want to center it right in the center of the spine as best you can. And I made the album is um, taller, or the cover is taller than the envelopes are, but that way you can have um, space for tags and different embellishments and stuff if you want to have um, a little tag on the top or the the longer envelope and then you want to make sure that you crease um, very gently and get that stuck in there make sure that it's in there really good 
gently fold up the side or the front and back of the album and make sure you burnish in the crease. So, and that's it. That's how you put it in there. It's a hardbound book and it's going to be great. Um, I did cut out some paper to show you how to um, adhere the paper to the envelope side because if you if you use the ATG glue or gun tape on this then you can't when you put your card in there it, it gets stuck because it stays tacky it doesn't dry so this is what I do um, I cut out you're gonna need a piece of two and a half by four and one eighth for the top of the, the pocket and then the front of the pocket is going to be three and a half by four and one eighth. And then on this side, for all the pages, when it's just the the single sheet of paper, it's five and a half by four and one eighth. So I'm going to start off doing this side because it's easier. And I've been rounding the corners on my book, so you want to make sure that you round the same corner on your paper as you do on your page. So I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers Corner Chomper, and I've been using the quarter inch loop or the quarter inch size and it's kind of hard to get that in there but once um, let's see, here we go. once you get it um, used to moving it around it'll be fine and for adhering the paper you can just go ahead and use your your ATG and even if you want to use wet glue um, wet glue will work fine on this too and then you just slide it into the pocket if you don't get it stuck first and then kind of set it in there so there's that slight border that goes around it's usually about an eighth of an inch if you get it perfectly centered it's an eighth of an inch and then so this is the three and a half by four and an eighth and I'm just going to round this bottom corner here I love the corner chomper because it will cut through layers and layers of um, paper. Like that's about three or four layers of cardstock. So it will cut through. It'll cut through chipboard. I'm not sure. I haven't tried metal or anything like that, but it'll cut through. So I would recommend getting that if you're going to be punching through some quite a bit of layers. I know most la most punches don't generally like they tend to jam there's that and so for this side what you're going to want to do is round your corners or you know you don't have to but that's just one of the the things that I think makes it look a little bit nicer and it's already rounded because I already matted the other side or no I didn't never mind I will do it You want to make sure you see this is the rounded side here. So you want to put eight. You want to put the tape on the three sides, and then the side that goes over the opening here. You want to use wet glue because wet glue will dry, dry. It won't just be tacky. So we'll put the the tape on first. And remember, you only put the tape on. The, you only want to put tape on the outside. And then I usually do a, another strip right about a third of the way in. And then you want to take your wet glue. And I like the 3M um, quick dry adhesive. And put a very small line of glue on the very edge, right like that. Sorry, it was totally out of frame, right like this, just on the very edge. And then you want to place it right on the page and make sure your edge is good all the way around and then you just seal it in place like that so there all right so you have your three little panels covered and then there's a pocket here and then a pocket here and I just glued I like this paper so I didn't want to cover it up with another piece of paper so we just glued um, and then you put your pockets in. Here's another example of the 
pockets and I generally don't do this one until I've um, attached the paper because I kind of want them to, obviously to coordinate and I want to make sure I have the right amount of paper for what I want to do. So that is my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot and I will catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.